We are about 232 miles north of Fairbanks, Alaska, off the Dalton Highway, and we're really close to the northernmost extent of spruce trees. So we're right where the boreal forest transitions into the Arctic tundra. It's absolutely beautiful. We're surrounded by beautiful mountains and all kinds of really wonderful plants with adaptations to the harsh environment. It's a really fascinating place where the growing season is compressed into just a few months. Treeline is a very diffuse and porous line or, or transition really between one ecosystem and another. So we're looking for where the trees are no longer able to grow and you never find it as a straight line. It's in and out because there's so many different factors influencing tree growth. And this transition is probably the largest transition on the planet between one ecosystem and another because it goes all the way around all the continents in the Northern Hemisphere. And where the transition exists is thought to be responding to climate change. The interesting thing about treeline is there's quite a few hypotheses that the environment and the environmental conditions are driving the occurrence of trees and then the disappearance of the trees. And the prime uh, candidate for an environmental variable controlling treeline is temperature. So the growing season temperature is critical to the way the trees function and grow here at treeline. And it's thought that once the temperature get too cold, the growth form of a tree is no longer competitive and loses out to the tundra plants, which are more adapted to cold temperatures. We know that in northern latitudes, uh, climate change is very strong. It's much more rapid as you go towards the poles than it is near the equator. So it's often said that warming here is about six times the rate it is at the equator. So we have a very rapid rate of climate change, which should cause very large changes in ecosystem function and perhaps a change in where we'll find trees and where we won't. If temperatures start warming and northern latitudes become warmer than they were previously, then trees might be able to advance and the tree line might in fact move forward. If tree line does move forward, that has a whole suite of consequences for the ecosystem because of all the uh, animals that live here, the different uh, plants that are associated with a forest versus a tundra. So a whole suite of biological and physical changes would go along with a change in tree line. So it's really important to know if it's moving, why it's moving, and where it's moving. So we know temperature is a big uh, driver for the occurrence of trees in this ecosystem, but we also know things like water, nutrients, wind, uh, light, snow cover in the winter, all of these things can affect the way trees grow. So it's probably a complex combination of these environmental variables, which is uh, controlling where the trees are and where they aren't, and that's precisely what we'd like to work out. 50 years, we would predict that the transition between trees and the tundra ahead of us will be further to the north, that there'll be more trees here. The tundra now goes all the way up to the Arctic Sea. It has nowhere to go, and the trees might simply keep encroaching.